This is my budget laptop gaming setup and I'm gonna be showing you guys everything in it. So I went on eBay and Amazon and after one hour, I ordered everything for the setup. Of course, the main part of a laptop gaming setup is the actual gaming laptop itself. And I bought this gaming laptop used from eBay for around $475. It's an Asus Tough gaming laptop and inside it has a Core i5 10300H, 1650Ti and eight gigabytes of RAM. I spent the majority of time looking for an actual good laptop and for under $500, this was literally the best looking and best performing laptop I could find for under $500. Looks wise, the laptop actually looks much better than it even did in the picture, but hopefully it performs as good as it actually looks because it really is in good condition right now. My love's like a black hole, sun so bright when it burns, so dark when it's done. So hard to relate to one when I find myself. I just turned on a laptop and everything looks perfectly fine and is already working pretty good. Like I mentioned, for the GPU, we have the GTX 1650 Ti. We also have eight gigabytes of RAM just right over there. And then for the CPU, it is indeed the Core i5 10300H. The camera just wasn't focusing there. Okay, so let me just put the laptop right over here and now it's time to talk about the mouse. This is the Death Adder Essential Mouse from Razer and I bought it brand new from Amazon for about $20. I'm seriously not just saying this for the video, but this really surprises me that you can get a good looking mouse that doesn't feel awfully heavy and doesn't even feel that bad in general for only $20. Of course, I don't know actually how good it performs, which is pretty important, but so far looks wise, it really looks pretty good. It also has side mouse buttons right over here, which I always recommend for games. I'm assuming that most of you guys that watch this videos are probably using a wired mouse and if you are and want to reduce your wire drag or just make your mouse like never really get caught up in ever anything I would really recommend a mouse bungee this one is from glorious for around like 20 bucks but you can buy them as cheap as like five to ten dollars on Amazon and basically all it does is it lets the mouse cord rest up here and then it completely gets rid of the drag so then the cable isn't getting caught on anything on your desk or even on the edge of your desk and just makes it feel basically like a wired mouse or a wireless mouse I mean. If you guys have ever watched any videos on my channel you're definitely familiar with this keyboard. It's a $30 budget keyboard I bought from Amazon and it's completely mechanical. It's like a gaming keyboard and it performs really, really good for the price. It's like a 70% keyboard because you have like the extra mouse or arrow buttons, I mean, over here. But it performs really well, not much input delay at all. And for $30, it's seriously like probably one of the best keyboards I've ever come across. And just overall, pretty well around keyboard for its budget. There's only one downside to this keyboard and it's the fact that it doesn't have RGB lights, but it isn't a bad looking keyboard at all. So I kind of just give that a pass. Finally, I didn't actually forget about the headset for this setup, I always end up forgetting somehow, but this is a $20 headset from Amazon. It's a gaming headset, but I saw a lot of good reviews about it and it doesn't look like awfully terrible. Of course, it doesn't have like any RGB or anything like that, but the most important thing is the actual sound quality, which I have not tested yet. So I'm just gonna judge by the looks. It looks pretty decent, but of course I can't fully tell until I actually start using it. And then of course, for the mouse pad, we're gonna be using the Vermax and Gutsy Aiden Swirl mouse pad. This is my very own mouse pad, aesthetics wise, of course, I'm gonna have a certain bias, but it really is not a bad mouse pad at all. It has really good glide aesthetics. It's really, really nice. It just pops a lot. And this is definitely one of the more like pricey mouse pads. You could say it's $40 and you can get like a kind of cheap one that could do the job for $20. But if you really want some good mouse glide and just a really nice looking mouse pad in general, that's the reason I went for this. But you can kind of go for like any kind of $5, $20 mouse pad you want. Now I'm gonna put together this entire setup and let's just roll the cinematics. pretty hard for me to get used to this laptop and I still am just because it's a much smaller screen than I'm used to playing on but so far it's pretty decent we're getting like what 150 to 180 FPS it looks like but one thing I did notice is that when I'm like making a lot of edits like this or anything like that there, it looks like there is a little bit of screen tearing because we're getting like 150 FPS but this screen on this like specific laptop is only 60 Hertz the headset is actually surprisingly not completely trash at all it's just sounds 
pretty like normal nothing out of the ordinary at all and it doesn't sound as cheap and like as kind of crappy as some other $20 headsets do so overall the headset is like pretty decent but one thing I actually am surprised I don't really like too much is the mouse I use the Logitech G203 which is a mouse the exact same price point and it just feels a little bit better this mouse although of course it's $20 so it's pretty cheap the other mouse is also $20 and just feels a little bit better like more responsive this one just feels a little bit awkward for me to hold again it just might be completely preference one of the biggest downsides when going with a laptop is the actual temperatures and our CPU is getting pretty hot right now and I can feel on the exhaust over here at the top I've only been running Fortnite for like 10 minutes and it is really I mean really getting hot over here and that's just one of the worst things with a gaming laptop there are some gaming laptop like stands you can put that actually have like fans and it really really do help with cooling but I mean I probably would recommend upgrading to that because it's only like a $20 stand and it will help a lot with like just making sure your laptop doesn't get too hot because that is extremely hot right now okay these lobbies are gonna be super sweaty by the way there we go. Okay, already one kill. That guy had no awareness at all. I should probably not have landed here with this laptop, bro. It is killing the FPS on this laptop. Oh my, my aim. No way. I just choked all my shots. What was that? I'm gonna be fully honest right now. It is feeling a little bit choppy, but I cannot blame the laptop too much because we're literally in Mega City. So this is like where all of our FPS is gonna really start dropping here. I mean, we're still getting like, what? 90 to 110. So it's not like awful, awful at all. Wait, someone's like right here. He's a shotgun though. Oh my gosh, bro. I'm just gonna wait and camp up here and wait for him here oh yeah he's coming up oh my gosh yo there we go come here buddy yes oh my get destroyed bud okay my aim is actually recovering now i'm just getting used to the laptop that's what it is how did i take so much full damage what okay, there's two guys fighting right over here oh my gosh no 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 oh i lost my shield bro how does this guy wait where do you get a charged pump from where do you get that from Oh my gosh. And I didn't even reset. Nice, bro. Warzone is literally killing this PC. This PC can't even run Warzone. Like, at all. It was just at 40 FPS. Okay, now now it's back. It This PC... Yeah, look. It's just, like, bottlenecking on this. I'm on, like, all low settings, too. I tested Fortnite with all low settings and everything. By the way, these are default settings, so I'm gonna be absolutely terrible. But yeah, look at this freezing. Let me, let me just make sure. Because this is kind of hard to believe that... Okay, I might die. I'll just go into a different game. But... Am I on, I ha, I'm on all low settings, right? Yeah, I'm on, I'm on literally all low settings. Completely all low settings. I, I'm even on low FOV. I'll go max FOV real quick. Okay, hopefully it runs a little bit better now. It feels like it is. I had to change a couple of settings like V-Sync and that stuff. I'm gonna be absolute bot. I'm just trying to test out. Yeah, okay. I can't even aim for my life, bro. Th this screen is so small. It's so hard for me to get used to that. It's my, that's my excuse right there is the screen. I can't even see. I can't see, bro. If this guy's like over here, I can't. Like, I would definitely do, like, some color adjustments and stuff like that. It's fine. We're in, like, Rebirth or I don't know whatever this Walmart Rebirth is. Okay, I'm not even capping the sound quality on this headset. It's insane, bro. It's actually really good. It's so sound canceling or, like, noise canceling, too. This I literally don't know this map. I haven't played this map at all, so I don't know if I'm probably landing where a bunch of people are. I'm on default settings, by the way, so if that, I die, that's also my excuse. Okay, yeah, someone's right behind me. I'm, like, slouching forward like an old man, bro. We have some plates? Oh, yeah, we do. Okay, I didn't even put my plates on earlier yo if, like someone's over there i'm not seeing them i am not seeing them if someone's over there oh and they got a uav this is great oh shoot no definitely don't need that oh and he's right here oh how how what okay i probably i i didn't even see him running at me bro yeah our cpu is about to be at like 90 degrees right now bro this is running pretty hot and the laptop does feel super hot too oh wait they're they're fighting oh i got one i got one i mean if you're good at Warzone and you just are fine running 60 fps and you just want to run like 100 fps in other games like fortnite or whatever or like valorant plus if you connect another monitor it'll be a lot more helpful oh my gosh if someone's camping here i cannot see them oh wait one guy's right here gg that was a good effort though yeah look at this guy camping boy look at him dude oh my gosh as soon as i turned the corner he turned that's literally so unlucky i was gonna test out csgo but for some reason none of the fps is actually working like it's not showing up at all so i'm just gonna completely assume the fps on it but this is by far one of the easiest games to run so it's probably judging oh my gosh okay never mind there were two campers there but anyways what i was saying though if it was running like 120 150 fps on fortnite it's probably getting around 150 to 180 on csgo but i don't 
don't know 100% because the FPS counter is not there. If you enjoyed this laptop video and want to see me use it in more videos, let me know down below and let's see if we can get this video to around 4K likes. Everything in this setup will be linked down below. And if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you drop a quick sub only if you actually enjoyed this video. With that being said, YouTube recommends this video right over here and that's about it. God bless.